I miss walking. I miss doing some chores, you know. Mm -hmm. I miss maybe like right now I'm in the village. Mm -hmm. I miss I miss maybe going to fetch water for my granny, you mm -hmm. know. I miss helping my granny in things that she can she cannot be able to do, you know. Mm -hmm. And I cannot do them without her legs. So I hope <laughs> God will come through again. <laughs> <laughs> come yeah. on, you make it sound so easy, <laughs> yet it's not. It will be easy because God is there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is this Mweshimiwa who mm -hmm. called me, mm -hmm. but it's a fake Mweshimiwa. It's Definitely. not a real, real Mweshimiwa. Uh -huh. It's a fake Mweshimiwa who called me and told me, send me two hundred thousand, and I'll make sure you go to hospital for free, and I'll build you a house for you and your siblings, <laughs> and I'll make sure mm -hmm. your NHIF is a civil servant NHIF. Mm -hmm. You can even come to my office. He was talking a lot of things. Then I told him, no, first build me that house, make my NHF civil, then I'll send you the money. Mm, yeah. And from that day, he never called. Mm. Yeah. Mwishimua alingia msitu. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. Bana wacha wacha kuibia watu wanasaidia wana. Come on. <laughs> it's okay. It's life at all. Natafutia watoto. When we first aired Ruth Wanjiko's story, this was her situation. Now that things are at a standstill, how are you going to manage? I don't know because what do I tell you? I'm confused. Mm -hmm. This is my health, these are kids, these are waiting. But I don't care about the bills, I care about my health first. Mm -hmm. So, the only stress I have right now is try to reduce the pain exactly. so that I can work and prepare them. Mm -hmm. A few months down the line, this is her. What's up? What's up? I want a I'm Welcome to today's episode of What Happened Next with me, Kevin Phillips Mumanyi, and this is it. So how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm doing well. Uh -huh. And thank you so much guys for coming again. Wow, I love this place. Yeah, it's a nice place. Uh -huh. My granny's place. Mm -hmm. This is where I was born, this is where I was raised, uh -huh. and this is my home village. Exactly. Yeah. What's the name? Kamonyo. Kamonyo. Kamonyo in Gatondo. Uh -huh. That is Gatondo South. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. So I, I never thought I'd be here. Thank you so much, my dear. Uh -huh. The last time when we were in your house, mm -hmm. uh, in Kahawa. Mm -hmm. Kitarai 44. Kitarai 44, sorry. Yeah. I never knew I'd make it here. But <laughs> I have. Yes. What brought you here? Um, I came to see my granny. Mm -hmm. And um, I was not feeling so well yesterday. So mm -hmm. I decided to spend the night here. I had some problem with my chest and I could not be able to travel back to Nairobi. So I decided to stay with my grandma and have milk, uh -huh. drink milk and eggs and maybe I'll be okay. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. The first time we aired your story, mm -hmm. how was it? It was nice. Uh -huh. It was good. Tuko family came in for me. <laughs> Seriously. Uh -huh. They came in for me and I thank God for everyone who supported me financially, in players, and in everything. Mm -hmm. I thank you so much, guys. The mm -hmm. Tuko family is a great family. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Did you sort of expect the kind of calls you are expecting? Imagine I was not expecting expecting such a thing. Mm -hmm. Because if I tell you the truth, Kevo, I think Tuko family is my hero right now. <laughs> yeah, it's my uh -huh. hero right now. Uh -huh. And seriously, they came up for me. 
and I was able to go for the surgery uh -huh. and um, I was able to sort the bills out and everything is okay. Wow. Yeah. Uh -huh. What kind of surgery were you needing then? I had pneumothorax, uh -huh. so I, I did, um, the doctor put in some tubes on my chest and removed the air mm -hmm. and now I'm okay but I, st I can still feel the, like my chest is a, it's a bit heavy, mm -hmm. although maybe it's because it's, it's, it's so cold right now maybe mm -hmm. and I'm feeling better let's say and I will be starting my radiotherapy tomorrow. Uh -huh. Tomorrow, 6th of July, uh -huh. at Mpisha Hospital. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, so you'll have to go to back. To go back, yeah. I'm going back today. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow, amazing. So probably, uh, which uh, hospital did you? I went. I went to Maria Immaculate, mm -hmm. and I was transferred to Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. I I did the the new thorax thing in Kenyatta, and it was so successful. Imagine it only took three days. And I spent one and a half weeks there. Wow. Yeah, it yeah. was so easy. And I think by the grace of God, everything became so easy. Uh -huh. Very easy. No stress, no nothing. Uh -huh. Just me and the doctor. Uh -huh. Although I had some severe pain on my back, it was bad, bad pain. Where even the morphine was not working. Mm -hmm. But I thank God they were able to give me patch. Then right now I'm on morphine and it's working. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is the pain gone? It's gone, but the doctor is now organizing for my major surgery right now. Uh -huh. we, uh, he said he's organizing with the surgeons to remove now the tumor. And that is my happiness because I just want to, he to, to see the tumor gone and, and to, feel, to feel good again. And, you know, I just want to be tumorless. <laughs> I don't want to have any other tumor in my life. Uh -huh. Yeah, on my the tumor is on my pelvic. Mm -hmm. So the doctor is organizing for it. Maybe probably probably next month. Uh -huh. I might do the major surgery. Exactly. Yeah. But all in all, the pain is has subsided. Kabisa. Yes. And you know what? Uh -huh. I'm 24 years old. Wow. Yeah, I turned 24 on 16th June. <laughs> <laughs> happy happy belated <laughs> birthday. Yeah. Where was I? <laughs> Surely, where was I? <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, but right now I'm 24, I'm not 23 anymore. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow, and uh, what about, uh, I remember when we were doing the interview the first mm -hmm. time, there were some pending bills in your house. Your brothers were probably yes, sending them out yes, of school. Yes, 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 well, yes. And mm -hmm. God has come through for me. Mm -hmm. Let's say, um, right now, I got someone who can pay me. Uh, school fees from my one brother forever like from four month from four what yes someone offered to do that imagine it's it's god god's grace uh -huh. for lil uh -huh. yeah wow i'm happy and i uh, got another guy mm -hmm. timothy and he offered to pay my rent uh -huh. you can imagine <laughs> it's god's grace by the way that's for real yeah uh-huh I'm so happy about it. <laughs> so it's a turnaround for you. Hey, yes. <laughs> God's grace. Uh -huh. Being comes through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are you doing now? Um, I'm I'm just waiting for for the surgery, mm -hmm. and I'm also doing some business. Mm -hmm. I started a business. You know, I said mm -hmm. because I got this money, if I use it all. I will not be able maybe to get medicine and you know there is this medicine I get for 108,000 per month. Yeah. That is Pazopanim. Mm -hmm. Every month I have to have 108,000 to get it. So I started a small business mm -hmm. at K344 and I'm selling shoes. Uh -huh. uh, it's just like a small store. I'm selling ladies shoes and kids shoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I know these Tuko family members can again come and promote you. Where do they yes. find you? Yes, <laughs> the right foot for near the Abadant Church. Uh -huh. Yeah. What's the name of your business? I don't have a name yet <laughs> because it's just <laughs> through stalls, Tokawaida. Mm -hmm. But I know they'll have my number. They'll call me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Sure. So you supply these shoes? Yeah, I can deliver. Mm -hmm. And also they can come and see what I'm doing. Wow. You know, they're the ones who came in for me, and that's why I was able. To, to do this business, mm -hmm. so they can please come and see what I'm doing. Exactly. Yeah. At least that keeps your mind off. Yes, and I'm not at home anymore. Uh -huh. um, at least there is something that I'm doing uh -huh. that keeps me away from the pain, that keeps me away from, from thinking that I'm sick. 
that keeps me away from thinking a lot of things. No, I know I have to wake up in the morning. I'm not doing Uber anymore. I have to wake up, shower, go to work. Mm-hmm. Even if it's not Uber, although I love doing Uber, I love driving, I love cars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm so happy right now. Everything is okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, we are just waiting for, for the surgery and I know and I know God is on my side and it will be successful mm-hmm. and I know maybe it will be the end of the cancer thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What does your grandma say about this? She's very happy by the way. Mm-hmm. She's very, very happy to see me again and and to see to see that I'm all right, you know. Uh-huh. She's happy to see me smiling, she's happy to to hear that I don't have that much pain. You know, when I'm suffering, she's also suffering. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think she's just happy to see me. Eh? <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. she was not expecting me, and now I'm here. Mm-hmm. So she's very happy. Video na pikiya shosho. Video kutoa shosho kutu na pikanga. Video tunaishi. Eh. Una pikiya shosho. Eh. Jo na zoe pikiya kwa ugali. Aki la dino. Tuzoteka tuto kuku. Hmm. Kuku. Mm. Mm. I'm, I'm having it on behalf of two family members. <laughs> this is courtesy of you guys. Did you by any chance let her know when you were going in for the surgery? No, she didn't know. In fact, she 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 knew yesterday. That's when I told her yesterday that mm-hmm. so I was not I have not been feeling well. I went for surgery. The time I came and I was sick, there is this something that happened. And no yesterday I told her like everything what happened in the hospital. Mm-hmm. And she was surprised, she was shocked. What? Yeah, she didn't know no one knew, only my aunt. Because you know I had to tell my aunt so that she can come and check on me. She has to go home and check on the kids. Mm-hmm. Because they're all alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And wow. she's happy that the chest pain is gone, you know. Chest pain is bad, my dear. Uh-huh. You, it's like the the chest <coughs> is the one that carries the whole body. The chest has lungs. The chest has 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 heart. Everything is there. So whenever you have this chest pain, you get so uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then now, let me say, so far so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about your mom? My mom is okay. She's here also. Uh huh. I do, she doesn't know where I went for surgery, maybe she'll know right now, mm-hmm. because I have not seen her in a while, but I'll tell her. How long is that? A while. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what you're saying is that the, the Tuko family members touched your life? Yes, Kevu, yes. Uh-huh. Let me say, God bless them all, mm-hmm. and me, they never lack. Even the directors in Tuko, you Kevo and your cameraman, may you never lack. <laughs> because seriously Kevo was stressed. I had paid in bills on my land. I had in, I had paid in bills on my hospital. Everything everything was paying in my life. But Kevo, if now I am imagining I can I can stay outside with no lot of sweaters because of the chest pain. Mm-hmm. You know, when you are not sick, you just have peace. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't have money and you're not sick, you just have peace. Yeah, and you're not in hospital, you're not waiting to go to hospital. You just have peace. Even if I'm waiting for surgery, even if I'm waiting to go for radiotherapy, Uh it's better because I don't have that much pain that makes me get uncomfortable, that makes me maybe cry all the time, you know? That makes me, I don't want, I don't want the kid to see that I'm crying, you know? I have to stay strong and have a bold face, mm-hmm. like I'm okay. But in me, I'm having this pain. But I just thank God and tell, I just thank Tuko family. <laughs> May God bless them forever, <laughs> seriously. Uh-huh. Yeah. So what next for you now? I just hope mm-hmm. God will bless them again mm-hmm. and buy me a leg. Come on. <laughs>
that is what I'm wishing for. I, I wish to walk again. I, I miss walking. I miss doing some chores, you know. Mm -hmm. I miss maybe like right now I'm in the village. Mm -hmm. I miss, I miss maybe going to fetch water for my granny, you know. Mm -hmm. I miss helping my granny in things that she can she cannot be able to do, you know. Mm -hmm. And I cannot do them without her legs. So I hope God will come through again. <laughs> <laughs> come yeah. on, you make it sound so easy, <laughs> yet it's not. It will be easy because God is there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Tuko family has love. Mm -hmm. Love, cable, you love. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People are calling you, telling you you'll be okay. Others are praying with you. Even if they don't give you money. They're encouraging you and they're telling you you have a long way to go. Mm -hmm. Even if I had been under, uh, there is this time I was in oxygen. Mm -hmm. I had not done the surgery, yes, I was in oxygen and there is, there is this girl who called me, where are you? Um, I'm in Nairobi Hospital, I was in Nairobi Hospital at that time. She came and she was there with me, I got admitted, she was there with me, you know. Mm -hmm. And she's from Tuko family. Wow. I just... I just make it uh, look easier because I know God will be there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Did you did you maybe get any calls from people trying to to mm -hmm. con you or something? Yes, a lot of <laughs> a lot of people, but it's okay. <laughs> what do they tell you? <laughs> Some they are lying at you. Please send me this amount of money. Mm -hmm. I'll help you do this. You know. I want to buy you a shamba and build your house so that you can stay with your siblings. You don't have to pay rent anymore. But before that, send me this amount of money. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. You know, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I want to give you an, an, an a civil, civil NHIF card. Uh, send me this amount of money. Uh, some are even lying there, are she viewers, you know. What? Yeah. Uh -huh. They are the famous, famous Waheshimi was, but. It's a lie. Uh -huh. Yeah. What, what is one Mweshimiwa? What was one Mweshimiwa telling you? I'm <laughs> interested. <laughs> Just to make sure that whoever mm -hmm. we do a story knows mm -hmm. what goes on behind yeah, the scenes. Yeah, yeah. There is this Mweshimiwa who mm -hmm. called me. Mm -hmm. But it's a fake Mweshimiwa. It's Definitely. not a little, little Mweshimiwa. Uh -huh. It's a fake Mweshimiwa who called me and told me, send me 200,000 and I'll make sure you go to hospital for free and I'll build you a house for you and your siblings <laughs> and I'll make sure mm -hmm. your NHIF is a civil servant NHIF. Mm -hmm. You can even come to my office. He was talking a lot of things. Then I told him, no, first build me that house, make my NHIF civil, then I'll send you the money. Mm -hmm. And from that day he never called. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Come on guys, bana wacha wacha kuibia watu wanasaidia wana. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's life at all. Natafutia watoto. Have you found yourself a sweetheart? I know they're asking. No. Not yet, I'm single. <laughs> what <laughs> are you waiting for? And I'll get one soon. <laughs> what are you waiting for? <laughs> and I'll get one soon. Okay. Seriously. Mm -hmm. Took our families, mm -hmm. a lot of, has a lot of surprises and gifts. Uh -huh. So I know I'll get one from They are listening. My face is. I can see okay, bro. <laughs> Where? Protects me. My director protects me. <laughs> awesome. So then, uh, finally, mm -hmm. I'd like you to maybe take this chance mm. to tell them something. This big Tuko family. Talk to them. Mm -hmm. Maybe again, when you're going in for the major surgery, I know you might need some more support. Yeah. But I'm happy that the, the, pain, is the pain is relieved. It's yes. sort of gone and everything. Just yeah. tell them something as we close. We did them? Yeah. Um, to our family, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. I might not be able to say enough thank you, but I know you can feel it from my heart. And I hope and I pray. May you never lack. May you, may you never lack anything. May you never struggle in anything. Because seriously, even if you didn't give me money and you called me, and you told me I'll be okay, and you told me I should not lose hope. Seriously, that one really helped me a lot. I'll be going for the major surgery, probably maybe on August, the major one. I'll be, uh, there is this tumor that is nine centimeters will be removed. So you can imagine what kind of a surgery is that. It is on my belly, 
if you're here you touch it you'll feel it mm -hmm. it's on my pelvic up here pressing my kidney then on my belly so i'll be going for that surgery probably on august i hope god will touch you again and help me go through it again and if there is someone out there who can give me a reg that is what i want to give mm -hmm. i miss walking i miss putting these crutches down again mm -hmm. i just i just i just miss learning i, I miss just walking mm -hmm. and i know god will bless you all exactly yeah wow wow but, uh, probably this major surgery how long how much is it likely to cost? Uh, the doctor said uh, it's around two, two million. Mm -hmm. And uh, he will talk with the NHIF to see how much it, it will get. Mm -hmm. He will personally talk to the NHIF. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, but I think I have the best doctor. Uh -huh. Yeah, Dr. Ocheng. <laughs> He's the best. Uh -huh. yeah. he, he, he makes sure that you get through this and really well. Kevo, mm. you know, in my life, I never thought that in Kenya, you can get an oncology. You know, I was used to, every time you go to, to a cancer center, you get this Wahindi and Indian mm. people, all Wazungu. But in Kenya, we have oncology, our own. Mm -hmm. Like me, my oncology is Dr. Ocheng. It's my, it's, it, he's a Luo. I just love him with good heart. He has, do you know, there is this time I can go to hospital without transport back home. Mm. And he'll give me transport. And he'll not even ask me for consultation fee. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he just give me medicine and tell me go take medicine. I'll know how I'll pay. In in our country, we have we have oncologists. It's not only Doctor Ucheng. We have other oncologists, but I just wish people mm -hmm. who are cancer patients and cancer survivors let's do a one time trust our own mm -hmm. because we have the best oncology ever. Wow! I want you to meet Doctor Ucheng one day, mm -hmm. and you'll see mm -hmm. he is the best. He has a good heart. He has a big heart to mm. accommodate everything. And you know, with cancer, now I'm happy, the next minute I'm sad with mm. the mood swings. Mm -hmm. And he accommodates all that. Wow. At this time, maybe I have pain. Mm -hmm. I'm in bad mood. I'm just, you know, because of the cancer, cancer medicine, sometimes you have bad moods, mm -hmm. bad moods. At all, Jenny but I just have bad moods. And you'll get that oncology. He will accommodate all that. Mm. Like you know, me, I know there is this time I usually have bad moods, and I just want to see Doctor Cheng. Uh -huh. Yeah, and he's there for me. All if true. I need to cry, I call him. I tell him, Doctor, maybe you know there is this time you feel you are down. You feel like it's the end of your life, and you call him. You tell him, Doctor, I'm not okay. I feel I feel like maybe I'm dying the next minute, and he'll talk to you. He'll give you hope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in Kenya, all I wanted to say is, in Kenya we have our own. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We need to trust them. Yeah, we need to trust them. Wow. True. Finally, mm -hmm. a message of hope um, for someone out there that probably may be also in your situation. True. Uh -huh. And he's losing it. Don't lose hope. Mm -hmm. Be positive. Trust in God. Believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. And make yourself happy. Mm -hmm. If you if you want a pizza to be happy, uh. eat it if you have money. Uh. Eat it. If if you want something to be happy, if you can afford that thing, mm -hmm. buy it. Because happiness is the first healing mm -hmm. If I'm happy, like you no, know, the way I'm happy to see you again, <laughs> you know, I cannot feel the pain anymore. I cannot even feel cold anymore. Mm -hmm. So happiness happiness first then believing in yourself you don't have to to accommodate everything you know people most people are so negative you don't have to accommodate all that mm -hmm. you're the ceo of your life so you have to choose what you want as long as it will make you happy be positive always make sure even if there is someone there with stigma don't listen to it mm -hmm. just be yourself you know, like me, I love swimming, uh -huh. and then you'll find someone in the swimming pool saying she doesn't have a leg and she's swimming. How does she swim? I will show them how I swim. Mm -hmm. I will show them, yes, I don't have a leg, but I can swim, swim, you know? Wow. You don't have to listen to them. 
you don't have to be shy. Be yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. You make me believe in a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All will be well. All will be well in Jesus' mm. name. Mm -hmm. I can just hope. Skumoja, nipate mguto. All will be well. Yeah, I, I trust. I trust in God and and I believe in myself. My wo wo wo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So finally, before we leave, eh, mm -hmm. you know, we, we have a program called Tuko Patreon program mm -hmm. where people opt to support us, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and, and of course, uh, give us something small to facilitate us going mm -hmm. around and doing true. stories and true, stuff. True. Eh? Yeah. And again, our boss, our good boss, mm -hmm. his name is uh, Savelli. Okay. Uh -huh. He decided to post your story, Apple. Mm -hmm. And then people came through with something small for you. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, and then I've been uh, given this to bring to you. Oh my God, <laughs> <Ke -ho>, guys! <laughs> this Seriously, is, uh, was it a surprise? Yes, this was. Uh, this is five hundred and eighty dollars. Okay. Yeah. That is fifty thousand. Uh, yeah, converted into Kenyan. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Gabo Aki, thank you so much. Yeah, so I've delivered the package safe and sound. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you so much. I don't, I don't know what I should say right now. <laughs> you know? Uh -huh. We just want to see you back on yeah. your feet. Thank you so much, my dear. I mm. truly appreciate mm. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, Moana, just tell him I'm grateful mm -hmm. from the bottom of my heart. Um, I just want to say, God bless him. Mm -hmm. Nothing much. Maybe I don't have a lot to say, but God knows deep in my heart how I feel. <laughs> I never expected such a thing. <laughs> Gosh. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So the deliver the deliveries. Now uh, all of you guys mm -hmm. just continue doing it in our Patreon program. Keep supporting us for us to yeah. make sure that we do these kind of stories and bring yeah. them to you. Sure. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you too. Yeah.